Hello everyone. Today I try to explain how the AM radio antenna works. The antenna includes a ferrite core, a big coil, and a small coil. The ferrite core is for concentrating and conducting magnetic flux. The big coil is connected in parallel with a variable capacitor, forming an LC tune circuit. When I adjust the capacitor values, it changes the natural frequency of the LC tune circuit. And the small coil is the antenna signal output. When electromagnetic wave radiated from a radio station reached the antenna, it caused the oscillation of the magnetic flux in the core. And the frequency of the magnetic flux is the same frequency of the radio signal. It's very, very weak and almost useless. However, if the frequency of the magnetic flux is the same with the natural frequency of the LC tune circuit, the magnetic flux can cause the LC tune circuit resonated. When resonating, there's a high energy transfer back and forth between the coil and the capacitor. It also amplifies the magnetic flux in the core. The magnetic flux is large enough to induce a U4 voltage on the small coil and that the radio signal output. This is the pendulum I make that can help to have an intuition about the resonance phenomenon. The pendulum is now swinging at natural frequency. Now I try to make the pendulum resonate it. Every time the pendulum starts going to the left, I apply a touch on its arm. Or my touch is the same frequency of the natural frequency of the pendulum. As you can see, I only apply a small force to the pendulum and I can make the pendulum swing very high. And that is the resonance phenomenon. Back to the antenna. Even though the magnetic flux is very weak, but if the magnetic flux frequency is the same with the natural frequency of the LC tune circuit, the magnetic flux can cause the LC tune circuit resonated and we got the U4 voltage output at the small coil. Here you are going to see the real radio signal output from the small coil of the antenna. Go to the channel 1 of the scope. The AM radio antenna, big coil, variable capacitor, small coil is connected to the scope channel 1. I'm going to change the capacitor to tune the antenna to a local radio station 760 kHz. 
My antenna is about six miles away from a antenna tower from my city. That's the signal output from the uh, small coil antenna. And I can see the voltage pick to pick up to uh, over 15 millivolts. I have a radio over here, and um, I use to compare the waveform and the cell output from the radio. without any timeouts remaining. The last two deep shots to Matt Collins had a cut hand on both of them, could not hold them in. Like here in the second half, Devontae Adams has one catch for five yards. He's got four for 20. Yeah, it seems matching um, the waveform here and the sound from the radio. So the radio, I tuned to the uh, 760 kilohertz station. If we look in detail of the waveform, we can see the side wave of 760 kilohertz. So it is now, um, so then the waveform show it is 757 uh, kilohertz. So it's very close to the 706. The orientation of the antenna affects significantly with the signal strain output of the antenna. It is strongest when the antenna is in perpendicular with the radio broadcast direction. And it is weakest when the antenna is in parallel with the radio broadcast direction. And now I'm going to check the value of the inductor and the variable capacitor. The inductance value of the big coil is 734 micro Henry. The value of the capacitor is 56.5 picofarad. Replacing the value of L and C into this equation. I got 781.5 kilohertz. That's very close to the 760 kilohertz. I just verify the equation to calculate the natural frequency of the LC tune circuit. 
And that concludes my explanation about the AM radio antenna. Thank you for watching. Thank <phone> you. <rings>